The headline on the other major news story today, to which we intend to devote some time, is very simple. Hello, Dolly. It's a very long time since a science story on Sunday made such waves on Monday, but with good reason. Dolly is the name of the first mammal, yes, a sheep, ever to be born as the result of cloning. Cloned from an adult sheep in a laboratory. Dolly is doing fine, thank you. She is seven months old already. And from the scientific community to the water cooler, we human beings have had a future or seen a future, at least, that had only been imagined up until now. If a lamb, why not a man? Our first report from ABC's John McKenzie. <laughs> Dolly is without question a normal, healthy, genetic marvel. She's an identical copy of an older sheep. People expected that maybe at one time, at some time it would happen, but maybe we've been a little bit quicker than they expected. Dr. Ian Wilmot and his team of Scottish researchers began with a six-year-old sheep. They took a single cell from her mammary gland, including its nucleus, the command center containing all the genes, the DNA, that determine the sheep's individual physical characteristics, eyes, nose, hair. Then they took an egg from a second sheep removed its nucleus and replaced it with a cell from that first sheep. The egg and its new nucleus then fused together, turning into an embryo, but with all the genetic characteristics of the first sheep and none of the second. In effect, a carbon copy, an exact duplicate of the first. All that was left was to put this developing embryo into a third sheep, a host sheep, which carried it to term. The key to this experiment was to induce the genetic information of a very specialized cell from an adult, in this case a mammary gland cell, to go back through development to produce an entire new animal. What has caused such a shudder in the worldwide scientific community is that so many scientists doubted it could ever be done. They had tried to clone frogs and then mice, and without success. This latest research on sheep did not rely on any revolutionary new technology. In fact, many in vitro fertilization clinics use the same equipment. But it's clear this cloning technique still requires some refinement. We've succeeding, succeeded in setting up a system which will work sometimes, but we don't remotely begun to understand why. It's, it's just happens from time to time. Wilmot says it took nearly 300 tries to create this one lamb. John McKenzie, ABC News, New York.